Hey, I'm Corsac, and this is Late Night City. I just gotta find a frame of wheels pretty enough for that beauty, and it's ready to roll. Now you're talking. All the Matic cats are gonna be green with envy. I asked Rizzo not to tell him. I wanna be there to see the look on Zeke's face when he hears I scored the big one finally. I ain't never seen a working vehicle yet. You be sure to let me know when you take it out for the first time. Don't keep teasing me, there. game. You know, I wish I could drive it out there to the cats, but that bike makes me a loud target for snipers and steel cable traps at neck level. Aww. You know what I mean. <laughs> They're gonna cut my fucking head off. Your cousin. From Boston. Gotta stay inside the fence for now. Thank you, Lily. I'm not gonna let that stop me from having fun and taking you all for rides. That sounds like fun. Once you get good control of that contraption, I mean. Remember, you've never driven one before. I'd think before taking the new one out, you can probably expect to crash a few times before you get the hang of it. Oh, wow. You know, I never thought of that, Bob. You're right. I'm gonna treat the new merch like the jewel it is. At the same time, it means I gotta wait until the rest of the scrap one comes together. Good thing there's one at the Mass Chem Hall, huh? Indeed. Just be careful out there. It's super mutant and raider turf. No sweat. I'm packing light and just checking out the place for this first trip since we got no idea how big this thing is. I'll stay out of sight. You said that Lenny Greaseball sold you the tip about this haul and the bike, right? Yes. His tips have been reliable so far. I agree, I don't trust him, but it's not in his best interest to sell bad tips if he wants repeat business. On the other hand, he's probably sold the information to other parties too. You've seen it happen before. Don't waste too much time getting there. No worries. It's the first place I'm going after I wake up tomorrow. Then I'll go back with the right rig for it. I should beat anyone to the score. You guys all heard about what the Institute did at the Slocum's Joe in Lexington, right? Yes. Well, yeah, of course you know. There'd always been some folks living out of there in the basement. You'd have to be blind not to see them coming and going. No big deal, right? Well, not too long ago, the Institute marched their toasters into the place and wiped them out. They parked their asses in there and ain't moved since. It's weird, right? I mean, what the hell does the Institute want with a bunch of scavers in a burnt-out coffee shop anyway? Lucky you didn't get caught and have your head drilled out for the info. <laughs> nah, I was on the freeway overpass to the south. Had to pop a few Raider melons to get the view, but hey, it sucks to be a Raider, you know? Anyway, I wasn't ever within three miles of them, and didn't need to be. They wiped that place out, dead cold. That's awful. Has anyone heard what they're doing there? Were they looking for something? No, there uh, weren't any survivors to tell anyone. I'm really worried about the Atom Cats now. All the way out there by themselves. Between the Gunners and Quincy and the Institute and University Point, they're pretty well cut off from everyone non-asshole in the Commonwealth. <laughs> We need to find out what they were after at that Slocum's Joe. It could be important. Hmm. I already told you we got no issues with Rizzo moving in with you. If something happens to Zeke and his crew, tell them they can come here. Let them know we'll put them up in the storeroom for a bit if nothing else. We got enough hammocks for them all. Thanks, DP. I'll let them know. I'm sure they can handle themselves against the Gunners, but the Institute? I just don't know. There's so many. That urea was invaluable, but the soil is still deficient in several nutrients, including phosphates. Right now, the next step in my soil treatment is adding phosphorus to my seedling soil with monoammonium phosphate. I've been buying chemical fire extinguishers from merchants and using the monoammonium phosphate in them, but I really need a higher purity and larger quantities. All right, we're being sent now. Excellent. Like the urea, you'll find monoammonium phosphate in chemical warehouses and large-scale farms. You might also find high-purity monoammonium phosphate in food manufacturing sites, like bread, animal feed, and beverage makers. Phosphate gives phosphate. Communication does not contain the item you're searching. Damn. Please take a number for faster service. No uh, item. Boink. Still nothing. 
Look out! Oh, no, bitch. Oh. Enough with the landmines. Yeah, that's why I wanted to keep moving after the first one. What? The holy Jesus is that? When it's time, when you grab the shotgun to deal with a mosquito, it is too fucking big. So gross. Oh my god. Hand grenades or pest control. Does not contain the item. Son of a bitch! I fucking hear you! Please reload, please reload! <laughs> Our wasteland adventurer returns, and with the mono ammonium phosphate, finally, I have your payment right here. Thank God. Here's your payment. Wasn't easy. I'd offer a tour of the greenhouse, but I'm afraid I have another, more pressing issue. Some time ago, I hired a scaver, Lenny, to find another compound, anhydrous ammonia. This dangerous substance is caustic, explosive, and flammable. Cool! So I only hired him to locate it and report back. I had intended for Lily to actually transport the pressurized cylinders. She's done it before, but I haven't heard back from her in a while, and I can't find Lenny anywhere in Diamond City at the moment. He's probably out scaving. It's too horrible to think, but there's a chance she might have run into trouble out there. All right. This isn't the first time I haven't heard back when trying to get anhydrous ammonia. One time I could consider it a bad courier, but twice now is too much coincidence. What's more, that's Lily we're talking about. She wouldn't double cross anyone from the bleachers. I'm really worried about Lily. I just want to make sure she didn't run into raider trouble. As tough as she is, she's out there all alone, without her power armor. She went out without her armor? It's possible. Anhydrous ammonia is used to synthesize pure jet and psycho. <sighs> Nearly all of the chems these days are made on a stovetop. They're less effective and there's no quality control. Smart raiders sometimes figure out how to synthesize them from pure compounds. I need you to find out what happened to Lily and track it down to the end. It's not like her not to report back. Yeah, any more details? Anhydrous ammonia is stored in heavy pressurized tanks. It's also very dangerous. Smart couriers avoid firefights when transporting it. Cool. If it was stolen, it was most likely to a quiet part of town and on a cart that could handle such weight. I suspect the tracks left by whatever they used will be easy to follow. It is a very heavy container. All right, I'll get her. See if she's there, then retrieve any anhydrous ammonia that's left. It will be very heavy, so prepare accordingly. More importantly, Lily is my best friend. We're like sisters, so I'm worried about her. Find her first. All right, dog meat, let's go. Okay. Not liking this. Ow. What? 
plan worked. This is Lily. This is really her. After years, we finally iced the scourge. No more shitting our pants when we see power armor out of the corner of our eyes. We can sleep again. We took the tank somewhere safe, like Joan said. Meet us in the Fallons at Monsignor Plaza when you get this note. We're gonna get high and throw a Lily's dead party. isn't really her. No. Lily sends her regards. Bad news is, I had to get the crew together to wrangle the tank here for ECIT camp, and they weren't happy about missing the Lily's Dead party. Not in a good mood, and coming back out here to beat our asses. <sighs> Go do what you do to Raiders. Let's go! Over here! <laughs>
fucking kidding me? The fucker! Come and dog meat. All right, buddy. Thanks for the tip. And now, tell everyone about Lily. Excuse me. You're back with a large tank of anhydrous ammonia. Did you find Lily? And some bad news. No. Please, not that. She's... Oh my god. My little sister. No. Was it the raiders like I feared? It was. Thank you. But I was holding out hope. They're gone. But deep down, I knew better. Thanks for bringing back the ammonia, despite it all. I'll need to tell DP about this. He's going to be heartbroken. He's known her for decades. He was talking about needing someone to do some work for him yesterday at lunch. I told him I'd mention it to you. Maybe go ask him? Just please let me tell him about Lily. It's best if it comes from a friend. That's all I ask. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I just lost a family member. I need to be alone for a while. Please. God damn it. 